Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel. My name is Ariel Ray. It's good to have you here. So today I'm going to be doing a different kind of video. And let me get everything situated real quick because it kind of got... This is actually the second time that I filmed this. I filmed it um, yesterday, but it didn't... Um, it didn't save. And of course, as always, you know my memory is whack. So I literally had to um, delete last night. So that's what I did. I deleted a lot of stuff on this phone so that way I can have um, room on here. So that way I can record this video again. We'll attempt to. So that's in my hopes of attempting to do it. back in here and start I'm sorry I was already I thought I was recording and I wasn't recording so okay so this is the bag oh I'm sorry I didn't even get to finish what I was saying ah, you guys it started off a good morning and I'm already like forgetting forgetful because I tried to do this just a minute ago and I thought I was recording and apparently I wasn't recording. So this video is going to be based on the products that I took on my my trip out of town this weekend. So I, it's I'm unbagging my makeup bag. <laughs> we can call it. <laughs> and I'm going to just show you the products that I took with, along with me and I'm also going to um, talk about the products and how they perform and yeah so if you're interested please stay tuned and let's get started okay so this is the bag I took really pretty bag I love this bag this is a rose gold bag and it has a holographic to it love it so it's about this big um, I really love this bag you guys and this is actually a boxy charm bag it was gifted to me and I'm so thankful for it. So in my bag, I always carry like an extra Ipsy bag, especially in my purse. They're very, very useful. I use these, If those of you, for those of you that don't know what Ipsy is, Ipsy is a $10 subscription, monthly beauty subscription at skincare and beauty, so makeup wise. And it's gonna be going up to $12, but you're gonna be able to pick one product <coughs> to choose one product out of the bag of your choice <coughs> sorry you guys and um so yeah i use these for my purse so whether i'm carrying like feminine items or i'm taking like my essentials if i'm going out on that day somewhere you know like my lipstick that i'm wearing the highlight that i'm wearing the powder face powder just to touch up here and there throughout the day um, a setting spray like a setting mist that way I can once I powder up again like to touch up I can always just spray and we're good to go so I'm gonna start off with this bag so this bag I'm gonna bring out like what I took so this is the elf brow pencil in deep brown I really enjoy this uh, it's for the price it's two dollars so I'm going to swatch it for you guys. So it's a very dark. I do have dark brows. And my brows do have it in there. But I just did something really quick. Because I had an appointment to go to. So I just put on something. I don't have no foundation on. All I did. Let me just go ahead and explain my face. For those of you that have questions. I, put a, I actually put a face lotion on. That had SPF. And then I put a primer on. And then I went over with the translucent powder. So I use this CoverGirl True Blend um, translucent powder all over my face <coughs> to set. And then I went in with my bronzer, which is my my Cover Effects, which has like my every everything essentials. I love this palette. This palette I take with me all the time. This is actually in my makeup bag from the trip. So I, it has a it has a bronzer or contour, it has a blush, it has two highlights, a brightener, and a face powder as well. Also to touch up. So I did take that on. So that's what I used today. 
I use the blush out of here. I use the bronzer out of here. I use the highlight from here. So yeah, I love this palette, you guys. And this is in the shit. This is in the uh, light to medium. Love this. If you can get your hands on this, get your hands on there, because it's a really good face palette, and the quality is amazing. So I really highly recommend this. So if you're looking for a face palette that, and it's so easy to travel with, I love it. Love it. <coughs> Next product I'm gonna pull out is. Um, my CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer, and this is in the shade uh, Light Nude. So I recently purchased this, and I was curious about it because I had seen so many reviews already. It's a new product that just came out, and it has a doe, doe foot applicator. It's a huge applicator, so it covers a very wide amount, but I tried just to get a little bit. I did not put any concealer on today, so... Um, I did very minimal, and as a matter of fact, there's only two shades on my eyelids today, so I'll talk about that um, here right now, I guess, just to show you guys. So I used the Violet Voss Essentials Palette. We just recently received this in our BoxyCharm this month of uh, September. We're in October, but I did use this Dusty Rose all over my crease. And then I went in with my Huda Beauty uh, Smoky Obsessions, and I went in with the pink. And I just did that. <coughs> very fast, very simple. You guys, I don't ever do fast makeup like that. I usually take like three hours, to, <laughs> like two hours, an hour at least to do it. So, again, with this foundation, this foundation you can find it at the drugstore. It does run about, um, it does run about, I want to say like eight dollars for the, and it's pretty big compared to a lipstick it's it's wide it's not it's wide compared to your typical ones and this is a very buildable concealer it is full coverage the thing that you do have to do is you have to work fast with it because it does dry down very very fast so it's a very very good concealer I only put a little bit, but I mean, you can build it up. It's very, very buildable. Um, it's a very creamy. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. <coughs> it's the perfect consistency, if you ask me. Um, a lot, a little bit goes a long way, as you can tell. So, just be considerate of how much you use. Also, another tip is. I would work in sections so I tried I usually just go real fast like I'll mark up here mark my nose mark my chin mark my under eyes mark this right here and then I'll go and I'll start blending it out well <coughs> I learned the hard way that it does dry down very very fast so I recommend that you work in sections one at a time you know one eye at a time the next eye at a time right here you know what I mean just do it in sections and be very mindful of the time that you spend because it does dry down very very fast it doesn't leave my eyes creasy so right after I'm done I go ahead and I bake my under eyes and then um, get everything going with the rest of my face I don't know my phone skip I've never seen my phone skip like that I hope it's not skipping when it's recording okay like I said this is in the shade light nude the next thing I took with me was this Phase Zero Makeup. This is Making Moves Blusher. So I received this actually in an Ipsy uh, glam bag. A regular, well actually my green one. So for this one, um, I received this blush in there. And this is a peach blush um, <coughs> with sheen to it. Let me see, I have something on my finger. It does have a sheen to it. I'm not like really big on sheens. But this sheen is a very natural um, color. So um, for those days that you want to go minimum, this is what it looks like. See, it does have like a sheen to it. Um, hopefully you guys can see that. Really pretty blush. You can build it up. So... 
this is a really good blush. I was very surprised because at first I didn't want to keep it because I was like, oh, it has a sheen to it. But it makes the skin look so glowy and so just so natural. <coughs> so like on the days like this, you have minimal makeup. I That's a really good blush to wear. Um, next thing in here, I have... I took my hair bronzer. Yeah, I bronzer. I was like trying to remember, did I use that one or this one? I think I actually used both of my bronzers. So this is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit. Another really good product. This um, is a cool tone bronzer as well. And there's the shade of it. This is a really good bronzer as well. It's it's a very buildable. It's um, like I said, it ha it has an undertone of a cool tone. It's not a warm tone. This is a really good bronzer, a really good bronzer. So if you can find this on sale, I would pick it up because it really is a great bronzer. This is a high end product. <coughs> some of my stuff is drugstore, and some of my items here are high end. Some of them I swap with other people. Like I'll find a. Uh, like they'll swap items with me and or other things I receive in my BoxyCharm or I purchase myself. I purchase a lot of my drugstore. So um, another item I took was my, this is by Koki. Lately I've been feeling a lot of like the orange tones. Today was a very uh, pink, something simple like I said, I just threw it together. But lately I've been using a lot of ball tones like oranges. And this is the lipstick that I chose to uh, take with me. And this is the Kissable Liquid Lipstick Matte Rouge in the shade Dolled Up. Koki can be found at Walmart. I don't know if you can find it at Walgreens. Maybe at Walgreens. And I don't know about CVS. You just have to look. You can, uh, you can find this actually in Sephora and Ulta. If I'm not mistaken on Ulta. But I know for, for sure in Sephora. And <coughs> it has the emblem of an elephant. This is an orange, like an orange, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but it's just this really pretty orange. Again, it's a cool tone, it's not a warm tone. Um, very, very pretty, like it screams fall to me, I love it so much. Um, the consistency of it is really, I don't it. I can't even remember. I don't think it's a uh, transfer. It might be a little bit transfer, um, but it doesn't transfer too much, which I do like. Of course, you do have to, um, how do you say it? I'm sorry, I'm lost for words. You do have to touch up throughout the day, of course. So, <clears throat> the next thing I took was my NYX Professional Makeup Suede Lip Liner. It's a matte lip liner in the color, um, malice so this is an orange tone and i line my lips with this i really like nyx products nyx is a very very affordable brand and their products and the quality of their products is so good especially for the price so i really do enjoy their lip liners if you're looking and you're in the market for a really good lip liner that's inexpensive and it's really good quality i would jump on jump on NYX. NYX is a really good, especially you can find some really good ones with Wet n Wild, but um, NYX is a little bit, um, before it was drugstore, I don't know if it's still considered drugstore, but um, back in the day NYX was all at HEB and Walmart and now it's hard to find them at, you know, HEB and Walmart. It's, you can find it on Sephora or Ulta, but very very good quality in NYX products so if you're interested in looking for that go ahead and pick that up as well another thing I took was my no pore bloom um, prime essence by touch and sew this is a this is like a I want to say it's a water base but it's not a water it's kind of like a water base it's kind of hard to explain because it has like an oil look and it kind of has like an, a little bit of oil but it's more like a water primer kind of it's not one of them primers that leaves you like oily it's one that's like i don't know if you can see it okay so it's a very thin consistency 
and I love this primer because it sinks into the skin very very fast so it does have like an oil but it's already sinking into my skin so fast I kind of put a lot there I really like this primer it's a really good primer especially with your foundations um, <clears throat> it's not a silicone based so those of you that don't know what silicone based is silicone based is a primer that has silicone of course <coughs> and it helps to fill in the pores so it's a thicker consistency and it kind of feels like kind of feels like wax in a way but it just depends on how much silicone is in the product and what that does, it smooths over your pores so it fills in the pores so that way when you go in with a foundation, you don't look like a lemon. Like if you ever looked at a lemon and you put foundation on there, you know how it has like the big pores? Like that's how your foundation looks like when you put it on your skin and you have large pores like that. So that's why these primers are made specifically for that, which I'm going to be talking about the next product that helped. Um, this also is, this is a sample, I had been wanting to try it, and I finally tried it over the weekend on my trip, and this is the No Pore Blum as well, and this is uh, the primer, this one's a primer essence, so there are two different, different kinds of pr primers, this one's like a water base like I told you, it's more thinner, this one's a thicker consistency, so I'm going to try to... <coughs> You can tell right off the bat how thick this one is. And this helps, like I said, to smooth over the skin and to fill in the pores, fill in large pores, large on your skin so it helps the foundation sit and really just looks very, very smooth over the skin. Um, <coughs> these two products are each like $22 a piece, but they're really good products if you're looking in the market for a really good primer that's high-end and it's not drugstore this is really good another good one by like a drugstore that I can recommend is by Maybelline they have like the blur um, yeah it's the Maybelline master prime this is also a really good primer so if you're looking for a more priming one you can find this one. I think this one runs about, I want to say like $8. If you're on a budget, there's one from e.l.f. This one's like $5 and under. So if you're, like I said, looking for pore fillers, you can always find those at the drugstore. Those are some really good ones as well, as well as affordable. The next item I took in there was this uh, Too Faced. This is a sample size. This is a Too Faced uh, Damn Girl Mascara. I really wanted to try this. The packaging is so cute. I love it. It's like a rose gold pink. And this reminds me a lot of the Better Than Sex Mascara. For those of you that um, don't know what Better Than Sex Mascara, it's like, it's a high-end mascara. I want to say it runs about $24, 22 to 26 in that range. <coughs> it's a really good, like, volume and it just gives you your lashes the um like um kind of like thing okay so it has the same one but this one is a little bit thicker like a little well a lot bigger compared to the other one it has the same shape it's just smaller this is a really good mascara i've tried it i'm wearing it today i don't know if you can see it maybe if i look up you can see but so i received this in my ipsy glam bag I actually added it on, um, actually it's this one, but I added it on, no, it's my FC Glam Bag Plus, so if you, I don't know if I was able to upload that one for this month, I think I only did my boxy term, I would have to check, because I had some trouble um, actually uploading it, so, but I did add this on for $3, and yes, it's a really good mascara, I love it. Another, like a dupe for the Better Than Sex if you're looking and then the market, you can find the L'Oreal <coughs> Lash Paradise. It goes for $10 and it's an exact dupe 
if not better for the better than sex so and it has the same wand as this one it's just a little bit smaller it's not as big <coughs> sorry the next thing I have in here is my butter London power-up mascara this is another brand that's up there do know that all the high-end products that I do own like I said most of them I get in my Ipsy glam bag plus if not then my boxycharm for those of you that don't know boxycharm is a $21 a month beauty subscription and I can leave the link down below in my subscription in my description box sorry my subscription my description box if you're interested in signing up I if you're looking to get more like to build your collection it has helped my collection grow a lot I've already been with them already for this is gonna be my seventh month in October but um, it's a really good, really good, really good subscription for $21, but it's going to be moving up to $25 here in November. Um, right now, they are offering a free Tarte palette. You have to put in the code, so when you sign up, I'll put my link down below so where you can go there and sign up. And then it'll say code, like a, a promo code, and you want to put trick or Tarte. Tarte is T-A-R-T-E, and you can receive a free um, eyeshadow palette or a blush it's like a blush and bronzer palette which I do have so it's it'll be either one of those and this palette right here goes for 45 I think the other one is an eyeshadow palette also but it does have the bronzers and that one as well goes for like $45 so you'll receive this free it has the mirrors on the side it has two blushes two highlights and two um, bronzers or contours so one is a cool tone and one is a warm tone really beautiful palette um, so if you're interested don't I mean don't pass it up because for 21 to 25 dollars um, that alone is 45 plus the other five products that are going to be coming in this month so they have some really good um, products that are coming in this month and I'm so excited you guys I'm excited so I did receive this in my April this one, I use this one at my bottom lashes, so it does have more of a spiky um, wand to it. And it really helps me get to the bottom and really get close to the lash line. And it, I love it. It's a, I love this mascara. This is what I started off with first. And even to use at the top, it's very black. And it really, I can see that it does lift my lashes. So, really good product as well. Butter London, also, I want to say that's a $22 mascara. Also, I carry my Kiss um, Clear Adhesive. This is for my lashes. I also have here, like, a little Eco Tools uh, mirror. Just to go on the go with me when I'm doing my makeup in the car. Um, so, let me put up this. This is everything that I took in this little bag. Um... <clears throat> I took my Becca. Is it in there? Okay. Okay. As for foundations, this is a really good foundation, you guys, and it's very, very inexpensive. So this is by the brand Believe. And the people that the company that actually makes this brand is by Dollar General. This is a five dollar foundation and it works just as good as a high end. If not, it, it, it really compares to a high end foundation it's a medium to buildable coverage so it's not like one that's a full coverage um, I cannot cover this mole with it like completely but it does fade it out a lot but I'm pretty sure if I sat there and I did like two coats maybe I could you know really um, cover it but if you're looking for an affordable foundation that's really good and lasts all day this is the perfect one this is the one in soft beige again this is by the brand believe um, this brand believe is sold at the Dollar General exclusively you cannot find it anywhere else but Dollar General and they have so many affordable products that are like five dollars and under from like face wipes to sponges to brushes to foundations to concealers to lipsticks to lip glosses to nail polish to the whole nine yards for five dollars and under really great brand and if you're in the market for looking for like a starter kit I would definitely pick that up especially concealers are really really good as well um, next in here 
I have this eyeshadow palette. Again, I said I've been feeling orange tones. I wasn't playing. So this is the Beauty Creations um, Cali Chick. I do not know how much this is. I honestly don't. It was a gift and I never ever looked it up. I wish I should have looked it up. Like wish I could have, should have, would have. <clears throat> but I didn't. And this palette is very travel friendly. So we have a transition, a traditional transition. We have a base color. We have four shimmers and also four mattes. This shade right here is my absolute favorite. I love it. Love, love this color right here. I wear this shade very, very often. It's, it's really, really good. This is the gold one. The pigmentation is amazing, and I, I want to say that this probably runs, honestly, maybe like $16, $20 and under. <coughs> this is a really good um, product. I love it. I love the pigmentation on it. And like I said, it was a gift. So I really enjoy this palette. Like, really enjoy this palette. It's like one of my favorite ones, honestly. Especially during that it's the month of fall already. Like, we're already in fall. Um, it's perfect. And it's perfect to travel as well. It's very travel friendly. It's not too big. It's not too bulky. It's small. It's, you know, sleek. It's not too, too sleek. But it's, you know... Um, another thing I took was my Becca powder. This is by Becca. This is a high-end product. This is actually a $39 face powder. This is in the shade Light. Um, I received this in my BoxyCharm. I don't know if this month they're going to do it or if it's, um, I know when you sign up with BoxyCharm, you're able to get the chance to win, to receive this for free. I know last month they were doing it in the month of September. I'm not sure if they're doing it this month it's a possibility that they are I will let you guys know in a further video <clears throat> when I receive my boxes this month because I did um, sign up for another box this month so I res I'm gonna be receiving two boxy charms this month on different accounts um, <clears throat> I was gonna go for ipsy glam bag plus and it really didn't spark my soul this month so I said you know what I'm just gonna go ahead and sign up for another boxy charm and there's a possibility that I can get two different variations and that would be so amazing like I really do hope I get you know two variations but I'll be able to tell you for just signing up if I receive this for free and I'll make sure I leave it in my description in my unboxing for my boxy charm boxes so that way if you're interested in signing up for boxy charm then you can receive a $39 uh, face powder that is amazing you guys this face powder is like nothing I've ever encountered encountered this is the <clears throat> hydra mist set and refresh powder <clears throat> sorry my voice is cracking <clears throat> it's a very finely milled um, powder so when you open it, just be careful because I don't know if you can see that, but there is powder coming up. It's a very thin powder, like I said. Um, this powder feels very cooling. It feels it's like a, it's a water. It feels like water on the skin, and it feels so fresh. So it's crazy. It feels like cold water on your skin when you're putting it on. It's amazing the way it feels, um, and it lasts all day. Um, I have combination skin, and this really, really helps my skin to, to stay oil-free. I'm not too oily, but I do get oily, you know, from here, like, time. You know, not all the time, but I do. <coughs> so this is a really good powder. It's a $39 powder, like I said. It doesn't come with a whole lot. But again, you only pay $25 for the box, and you get a $39 powder that's like halfway filled. And to be able to test the powder, and I mean, I've been using it, so I mean, the fact that I still have quite a bit, that's really, really good. I think I got it, I want to say like two months ago, maybe three months that I've had it, and I really enjoy it. The next product that I have in here is by Anastasia. I know she's dirty. Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I took, this is a really good um, high-end eyeshadow palette if you're looking for a high-end eyeshadow palette. They do run for $45. Um, 
if you're looking and interested in the Anastasia Beverly Hills, I do recommend this one, especially if you're um, a nudes kind of gal. But you can also go into like mauve. You can like do the mauve. You have your black, your traditional black. That's a really good black. Really good black. Uh, let me see. Let me swatch it for you. It's not going to show on my hand, but it really is um, a great black, especially to deepen up other colors. Um, the shimmers in here are amazing. So let me. That's a shimmer. Let me do the gold. I really like the gold in here. It's blinding. Blinding. Love it. Love it so much. So, if you're in the market for a high end, um, definitely pick this up. I also have the um, Modern Renaissance, which is another one. It's more of a mauve tone. Pinks, um, maroons, and this one's a neutral palette. So, if you're looking for a neutral, you can easily go from a soft glam to a full glam 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 so I really recommend those two if you're looking in Anastasia Beverly Hills especially for a starter next thing I have in here is my wet and wild I know she's dirty I used her yesterday and I forgot to wash her but I've had this I want to say it's wet and wild if not it's an elf and I think I paid I know I paid like four to five dollars I've had this you guys are ready for like six months and Again, I wash it every day with Dawn dish soap, and it has not cracked on me. It, there's no cracks on it. This does get pretty big. It's small right now, but it does get to a really good size, and it covers just the right amount. It does have this slant right here, so it helps you to really cut the jawline right here to help when you're doing your contour or your bronzer. Really great sponge. For drugstore, it's amazing. I love this sponge like I haven't tried any other ones um like that are high end like the real techniques is a really good one also that one you can find at H E B the drugstore for five dollars that's a really affordable um sponge so if you're looking for a really good sponge then look for this one and look for the uh, sorry I got distracted and the real techniques ones those are two good ones but this is a really good one as well the next thing I took in there was the Ofra this is by Ofra. This is a highlight in the shade Bliss. Love this highlight. Again, like, I cannot express how blinding Ofra highlights are. This was one of my first Ofra highlights until I got recently got another palette by Ofra. <coughs> I'm sorry. And this, like I said, this is this is a pink champagne. Um, I don't know. It's a, it's a pink champagne. It's very, very pretty again very very blinding you can also sheer it out love this highlight like I love it I don't have a Z palette so I keep it in here um, I don't have I don't own a Z palette a Z palette is a magnetic palette where these little um, like single eyeshadows go and they magnetize to the palette I don't own one so I keep it in this and yeah I love this I take it with me all the time and I love that it's so easy to travel with me in my makeup bag ow it fell and I went to try to catch it thinking it was gonna go like this and instead it went like this and I got my poor legs <laughs> see if I don't have a bruise the next thing I took in there was my wet and wild uh, rose this is the photo focus rose um, setting spray this is a three-in-one primer water so you can prep before you put your makeup on so you can spray this on, put your primer, and then you can set also. So once you're done putting on your face powder, once you're done with everything, you can set it. And then you can use this to refresh throughout the day. Throughout the day, if you're like powdering up again, you can go ahead and go with this. I love the mist on this. I'm going to spray it on me because I don't want to waste it. So it's a very, very fine mist. Love the mist on there. I don't know if you can see it's not showing but it's a very fine mist and I, it goes for five dollars you can find this at HEB Walmart um, at the dollar store as well if the Dollar General I don't know if the family dollar but I know the Dollar General really good one love it another good one affordable is um, by elf you can find that one for like four dollars that one reminds me a lot of the all-nighter the urban decay this is a sample 
but it reminds me a lot of this one. This is a $26 um, spray for a full size. This is like a really good spray. Like this keeps your makeup on all day long. So you're like, <clears throat> if you're touching your face, <coughs> throughout the day it does not wipe off your product like your foundation so if you're looking for a high-end um, setting spray I would definitely look for the all-nighter by Urban Decay and if you're looking for a affordable one I would pick up the elf one I think I have it yeah I do have it. the elf one so this one's small this one's a four dollar one they do have a bigger one that's like six dollars and it's it's wider um, really good um, setting spray love that one also that one feels like it doesn't feel like hairspray but it it acts it performs like a hairspray like a heavy-duty hairspray of course it's not uncomfortable like that but it does keep your makeup on all day and it's amazing love those the next thing I have in here is again by the brand believe by Dollar General these are the lashes in glamorous so these are the lashes that I use um, really affordable really really good quality they last me I'm able to reuse them quite a bit of times um, and so if you're looking for lashes that are affordable and really really good quality I would definitely look for these at they're five dollars and less forgive my son for being in here but go watch TV go watch TV then I'm gonna turn it off then go watch TV okay Lastly in my um, makeup bag are my brushes that I took with me. In a minute. Look at my hair. I said in a minute. My hair is falling apart. <clears throat> so, I received these as well in, in a couple more. There was two more inside my uh, box charm for the month of September. And this is by the brand Moda Pro. You can also find Moda brushes. These are like in the $20 range for like five brushes. <coughs> and you can find these at Walmart. I really enjoy these. I got, like I said, again, I got this in my BoxyCharm. So just alone, these were like $25 to $28 for five of them. And I received them for $21 in my box. And then plus the other four products that came in there. But... The quality of these brushes are amazing. I love the bounce to them. They don't shed, which I'm grateful for because we all hate shedding brushes that come apart. And yeah, so I recommend these. So I did take the um, liner brush. So this one's like, it has um, an angled and it is very thin so you can easily do a lined like if you want to do a smoked out um, liner with a dark brown or a dark black you can really really get in there with their tight and <clears throat> blend it out this is another one this is the crease brush this is really good for your crease area um, it covers wide of like quite a bit of um, how do you say it range on the eye and it's a really great blending blending brush. <clears throat> sorry, you guys. My voice is cracking. And yeah. And I love the texture on these brushes. I'm sorry. My hands are dirty. I need to get a makeup wipe. Also, these makeup wipes are a dollar at the Family Dollar. I highly recommend. These are Modest by Modest, Modessa. And I buy two of them. I buy this one. I buy the, the chamomile one. And I buy the cucumber one for a dollar they're amazing and they're awesome they're alcohol free they are like uh they're 100 percent alcohol free non-drying and non-greasy leave skin feeling soft and supple 100 percent satisfaction on your money back guarantee 25 for a dollar amazing quality love them i can ever since i put found them i haven't been able to get away from them that's how much i love them <clears throat> so the last brush I have here is my uh, shade brush. So this is another brush. It has like a flat but fluffy. Really good to set down your lid right here. Alejandro 1. <clears throat> and another thing I took was my Sephora. It's my Pro Airbrush in the number 55. This is my blush brush. I really love this brush. So it really gets me 
Like, I love this brush. <clears throat> I want to say this is like in the $20 range. But, I mean, you can find a really good e.l.f. one. Um, <clears throat> is this one e.l.f.? No, this one's Beauty. I have, I know I have some e.l.f. ones here. Like, here's a brush right here. This is a Wet, by Wet n Wild. I think it's like $3. You can use this one. But I use this one more for my contour and my bronze, my bronzer. Um, I can't, I don't have eyes on it right now to find it. But you can easily pick one up from H-E-B and, and Walmart for an affordable price. This is my crown brush. I received this as a gift also with the whole set. And I use this one for an all over face. So for my face powder or to blend out. So once I'm done with my contour, I blend out. Or once I'm done with my bronzer or my blush, I just, you know, really get in there to blend everything together. This one, I received this as a gift uh, for Christmas for my sister. This is another fluffy brush. I use this also as well to powder my face, if not blend out. This one right here is the one that I took with me. This is my uh, crown by crown. I use this one for my bronzer and contour. Alejandro, go. One. Um, I'm almost done. He comes in at the last minute. Okay. So I also received these. These are Luxie brushes. I received these in my, uh, also my boxy charm as well. And I think this dupe, this this trio goes for like I want to say like thirty dollars. Yeah, it was ten dollars a brush. And this one's my Luxie Precision Crease Brush. So this is like a very detailed brush, which it's able to help me do a cut crease if I'm doing a cut crease with concealer or something like I have on along the lines today because I did use this brush to put this on to lay down that also I mean it's a very detailed brush you can also use it for the ends like the inner corners which I didn't do an inner corner today which is very unlike me because I always have an inner corner on all the time so this is another one it's a repeat <clears throat> I really like the brushes that I got two sets. I winded up um, I winded up receiving it actually in a giveaway um, <coughs> And then this is another one of my favorite brushes Especially for the crease because you're able to get a really good um, Amount of the lid to mm -hmm. lay down your first um, shade I really do love this brush. This is my Luxie 250 Large Eye Blending Brush. Like I said, it did come as a trio. So I really love that brush. <clears throat> Another brush that I took with me is by Wet n Wild. This is a blending brush. <clears throat> Sorry. I do use this for my highlight. I like the, <clears throat> the range. Man, I hate that I'm like all like this. My throat. The range that it provides. It, that it covers. And I use this one. I usually put highlight here, and I didn't put no highlight there. I'm surprised. And so, yeah, it really helps. I really enjoy this brush. This one's like, I want to say like a dollar brush, if not two dollar brush at the drugstore. Another brush that I do have here is by Farah. I want to say this came in an Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, this right here as well. It came with five, other, like four other brushes. And... I think the retail price was like somewhere in the 40 for like forty dollars for five brushes. I really like this brush as well to deepen the outer corners, and you can really get precise with that. I don't know if there was shadow on there. There might have been. Whoops. So <clears throat> that is everything that I took with me, you guys. So my brushes, um, everything that I took in there. So. Again, that's the end of this video, you guys. If you did enjoy this and would like for me to film more of these, if I when I go back on trips again, um, what I chose to take, what are my favorites at the time, or I do have another video that I want to go ahead and do also, um, if not today, tomorrow, sometime during the week, and it's all the products that I have received, like my new products that I received in subscription boxes or. Um, items that I purchased some things I've tried some things that I haven't tried that I want to do reviews on there with you guys but I do want to share it with you because I did have a hard time this month 
this last month of the month of September to um, get my subscription boxes um, the unboxing videos uploaded for you guys so I do want to go over those products with you but for now I love you all you guys and please don't forget to hit that like button if you did enjoy this video please leave down in the comments down below if this helped you in any way um, if you tried any of the products that, sh that I have showed you today and how you and like how you like how they perform how they perform with you um, and don't forget to tell me hi down there <laughs> also if you stay to the end of this video I thank you so so much for staying and showing support this is uh, just you watching helps me um, uh, just a little bit but if you subscribe and you subscribe to my channel that really helps me out a whole lot and I appreciate that to the maximum you guys so I love you all and I hope you have an amazing blessed day and I hope to see you soon bye I love you